Hi people, it's Archivist here, and today I have a very positive video for you guys. So I've been talking about the 16-inch MacBook Pro and this rather annoying popping issue that occurs when if you skip through uh, video playback with audio or if you pause videos in Final Cut Pro, then you would get this very frustrating, very consistent popping noise that didn't feel very appropriate for such an expensive device, and I called Apple out for that. I also called reviewers out for not mentioning it despite the fact it was widespread. However, now with the release of 10.15.2, they do appear to have fixed the issue. I've updated my MacBook Pro to this. I've given it the test I did before in Final Cut Pro. I've used YouTube, I've skipped through videos and even doing it as aggressively as I possibly can, turning the volume all the way up, skipping all over the place, pausing the loudest music I have in Final Cut Pro, the issue does not occur and I am very happy with that. Now, I did go online and apparently some people do still hear it, but it's much, much quieter and much less frequent. So just to be safe, I'm going to say that they have addressed and significantly reduced the issue. But honestly, guys, in my experience, it is gone. I, I cannot get it to occur despite very rigorous testing in the areas where previously it would occur every single time. So at the very least, they have massively improved this to the point where I wouldn't even consider it a reason to not buy a device. It is gone as far as I'm concerned. So if you have one of these devices, I would highly, highly recommend upgrading to 10.15.2 or if you're watching this in the future, whatever the uh, future upgrade is. And also, if you're ordering one and you've got it in the post right now, remember when you get the device, it may come pre-installed with a previous version of Catalina, so don't forget to update it right away and you'll literally never ever experience this problem at all. So it's fantastic that this is here. I mean, it's not great that it was here in the first place, but you know what, guys? I'm quite easygoing. I'll take the wins when I get them. It's only about a month, I think less than a month after this device even came out and they fixed it. They have done it relatively quickly. I think the communication has been a little bit sketchy on it. They haven't been totally upfront about this, but... I can understand why they probably didn't want to alarm people so that people would be put off buying them. It's a little bit of a selfish approach, but I do get it. And I forgive them somewhat because they have fixed it very quickly. So that's fantastic. I do still think that reviewers should have mentioned it, even if they didn't say it was you know, a deal-breaking issue. It was there. There's no denying it was there with so many units, and I guarantee that some of them had them and they just didn't talk about it, and I'm not quite sure why. But hey, let's, let's just you know chill out on that a bit today and just appreciate the fact that it is now working. So once again, guys, upgrade to 10.15.2 or higher, and then the speakers on your 16-inch MacBook Pro will be legitimately glorious. As always, people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.